Hi guys! So we are going to start off by priming our eyes and I am priming my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut. And after I blend that out, I'm going to set it using the MAC Blotting Powder in the color Deep Dark. And the first transition shade that we are starting off with is from the Morphe 350 palette and it's this almost skin tone nude shade. And then I decided that I wanted to warm it up a little bit more with this orange shade from that same palette. So the smoky eye is quite simple. I'm using one of these black shades is from the Maybelline's Rocks Nudes palette. But I felt like it was too gray of a black so I went in on top with Sin City from the Vegas Name Too Faced palette. And I just blend that out over the lid until I feel like it's blended to my liking. So I am blending out my foundation using my damp beauty blender and this is the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the colors C8 and C9. And I am also blending out my under eye concealer with the Real, ne Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And the concealer that I used is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. So now I am blending out my contour with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and the contour color that I use for today's look is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Mahogany. And now I am setting my under eye using the Ben Nye Powders in Banana and Topaz. So we are going to use this black craft glitter that I got from Michaels and we're going to do a glitter winged eyeliner today so what eyeliner works best with this is liquid eyeliner do not use gel eyeliner because it is already dry and the key to getting this glitter to stick without using a glitter primer is to pack it on before the eyeliner dries and I guarantee you this glitter is not going anywhere. Now, what I did was I just started along the top part of my eyelid and I did little increments at a time and just packed the glitter on as I was creating the wing. So now that we've brushed off that excess powder, I am now setting the rest of my face using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deep. So after I smoked out that bottom lash line, we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz to this eye look. So I'm using one of the blue pencils from the MAC Vibe Tribe Collection as a base. So we are going to start with our first blue shade and this is from the BH Cosmetics Foil Eyes Palette. And I'm just going to go over that where we lined the bottom lash line with. And then I'm going to add this teal green shade kind of in the middle of the lash line. And then I felt like we had like a lot of foil going on under there. So I added this cobalt blue shade back on the outer corners of the eye. So I just went back and smoked out the lower lash line again. And then I added some mascara to my bottom lashes as you cannot see. So now I am lining my lips using the NYX lip pencil in dark brown. 
And this liquid lipstick that I'm using today is by NYX. It's one of their suede lipsticks. And this one is called Brooklyn Thorn. So now I am applying Becca's Opal Highlighter and underneath I blended it in with Max Raisin Blush and this is going to complete this date night makeup look. So if this is your first date, uh, I wouldn't wear this on the first date, maybe on the 10th the date, okay? But this was the original look but some things went down and I ended up cutting most of my hair off. And so if you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!